So we're back with some new details now on the terror attack that left students and police dead at the American University in Afghanistan. So far, no one has claimed responsibility, but the school in Kabul has long been in the crosshairs of the Taliban and other terrorist groups in the area. The State Department responding to this carnage this way. We condemn this attack in the strongest possible terms. An attack on a university is an attack on the future of Afghanistan. Our embassy in Kabul, as well as our NATO counterparts at the Resolute Support Mission, are closely monitoring the situation. Of course, this kind of university would go against everything that the Taliban, for one group, stands for. Connor Powell, live from Jerusalem, with more on what we're learning about this attack and who may have brought it about. Connor, good morning. Well, good morning, Martha. As you pointed out, nobody's yet claimed responsibility. However, this has been a long-time target for the Taliban, and it has all the hallmarks of a Taliban attack. We know that three attackers, one with a suicide vest and two with uh, rifles, uh, pushed their way into the security, uh, into the campus, which has a pretty good record of security around there, but it was at the busiest time of day. It was after work, so a lot of students were there both studying, interacting with the other students, and also taking night classes. There was estimated to be about 700 or so students there when this attack happened. Now, it happened around 7 p.m. or so local time there, but the all clear in terms of safety and security was not given until about 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, two of the attackers remained at large in this uh, ground. The elite Afghan commandos, along with U.S. and other NATO advisors, were on the ground clearing and sweeping the facility there. It did take about 10 hours or so for them to give the all clear there. At least 12 people were killed, some 40 were injured. We know at least seven of them were students, including one that was a professor that had gone to Stanford Law School and been a Fulbright scholar. Uh, we don't yet know, and there's no reason to believe yet that there were any American professors or anyone that was injured there. However, there have not released any information yet about all of the identities of those that were injured, Martha. All right. So um, obviously, the security situation in Afghanistan remains very challenging, right? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously been a challenge, to put it mildly, for several years now. It was just a couple weeks ago that two professors, one American, one Australian, from this university were actually kidnapped, uh, again, uh, chalked up to the Taliban. Uh, the security situation, particularly in Helmand province, which the U.S. military spent a lot of time and energy trying to secure from the Taliban, has really deteriorated this summer. The U.S. has actually sent about 100 or so uh, Marines and soldiers to that area to help try to beat back the Taliban, but it comes at a very precarious time in Afghanistan's history. Yeah, no doubt. Connor, thank you very much.